Racial covenants had one purpose, to keep minorities, especially African Americans, out of white neighborhoods. When Aaron Ammons first took over the Champaign County Recorder's Office, he found the wording in old real estate deeds jarring when it came to those restrictive covenants. The, the language of no Negro race, no member of the Negro race would be to, allowed to own, rent, sublet, uh, any housing in this, uh, in, in this subdivision. It took my breath away. It was a common and legal practice throughout much of the 1930s and 40s. It practiced backed by real estate agents, bankers, lawyers, and the Federal Housing Authority to keep black people out. It's built into the fabric of a... Of the so basically, again, white if you're not white, you, you can't, can't buy that property. That's right. You can't rent it. You can't lease it. You can't sublet it. It was just so commonplace, the... Uh, the reach of racism uh, and the denial of African Americans access to, to, to those living quarters. If you wanted the covenant removed from your real estate deed, it was an expensive process. However, the legislature stepped up and changed the law so it is now easily done. But it was a good feeling to have somebody come in and want to strike that language. The first individual in Champaign County came forward and recently had the offensive language stricken from real estate deeds. Now this one was for an entire subdivision. So uh, it only takes one person within the subdivision to come in and strike the language. It does not take a majority of people or anything like that. For more information, go to the Champaign County Clerk and Recorder's website. In Urbana, Doug Wolf, WAND News.